Monica. Hi again, Abyssal. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with the masterpiece. Huh. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to show you what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. It's pretty good. Makes me think of Sayori. Like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? And again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Nats or Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. Sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. Oh, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. But anyway, you wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless... Load me. Hmm. Cry for help. Hmm. It's even more abstract, or abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. Sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I never really seen it before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. They wrote the lines really short, makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is, or what a poem is about, isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression or a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Haha. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I'm fucking saving my game right away. That's some fucking ominous bullshit right there. Don't you fucking do that to me. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Siri has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P um, Monica. Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sari is putting it all on posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sari, who's been coloring a poster, holds up holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you start or you didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Ah, uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's a bad uh, that bad of an idea? 
well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys? No, Sari, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But I still think we should get it, give it our best. We're the only ones, or er, we're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put up a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes, or if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Whew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? He dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. That's everyone. I'm the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. It'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite the poem or your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook. There's a specific poem she has in mind for herself, and stands behind the podium. Tell this poem is the way they fly. <clears throat> Monica, begins or Monica begins reciting the poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is simply an, or is she simply a natural? Glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sari looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes... Uh, recita uh, how do you pronounce that one? It's like, you, have, you can recite recitation, maybe? The four, of us are or the four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was... Or that, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next? I I'll go next. Oh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up, keeping her head down. She quietly walks over to the podium. The poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances to each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a, practic or just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering voice transforms into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she's built if yeah, as if she bewildered even herself. I it's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards. And we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her. But we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. 
so he hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one is called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sorry? It's a lot harder than I thought. How'd you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like you're in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. So he begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made for, as, er, was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes, and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> even Abyssal liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Huh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> don't make me go before Abyssal. It's not like I can compare it to you guys anyway. Might as well let Abyssal lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something I'll, that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets <laughs> out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... It's called... Why are y'all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, this poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, oh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can't put on whatever face- or I can put on whatever face I want for other people. When it's just my friends. It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess, in that case... You won't have much trouble worry, or you won't have to worry much about the, bleh, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what uh, Man, I'm having a hard time now. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets. So let me know ahead of time. Will you be reciting? Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. Doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me feel really ha- er, yeah, it makes me really happy. Y yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up. But let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, but I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. 
Well, you two are always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. They make it such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Bissell. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I will come with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was, was I spacing out? Or I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean, sorry, fumbles with their words. So let's just say that one day, you're yes, or asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? Man, what the hell? Sayori? You really think I'd ditch you for Yuri? Huh? But, but, she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I just see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Vessel. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so. Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point of spec or speculating something that's never gonna happen? Hmm. Conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sari to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Oh boy. Alright, um. Whew. Let's see. I think I've been recording for like two hours now. Yeah, I have. Alright. Well, thus concludes my first session of. Doki Doki Literature Club. I hope you guys enjoy so far. Um, yeah, don't forget to like the videos, comment, subscribe, do whatever the fuck you want. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, if you dislike it too, just let me know why, I guess, if you feel like it. If not, well, fuck it. Like I said before, do what you want to do in life. My name is Abyssal. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace out and uh, all that shit. You know, the usual. <laughs>